Hey everyone, the writer Pastor Janice here. I'm Sam, the media director for the church. It's November 2019. Welcome to the newsletter. The title for this month is called Living Boldly. If you haven't got the newsletter yet or haven't looked at it, um, and it's a continuation on uh, Pastor, you've been discussing faith in the newsletters. Yeah. Um, so here's the first paragraph of the letter. One of the most obvious signs of believers who struggle with their faith is inconsistency. They're in fellowship with God for a while, then they lose interest, falling into a state of complacency. So when life is on the attack, they turn to God for a bailout. I can tell you right now, Pastor, I can relate a lot to that. Yeah. Well, so could I, because <laughs> that's the way I looked at it. I guess you wrote the letter, you yeah. might have some experience yeah, with it. Right. Well, you know, a lot of times the most revealing thing to you is when you go through it yourself. Yeah. And once you've been through it, wow, it gives you a heads up. And uh, I thank God that that I, I had to, well, I don't thank God that I had to learn the hard way, but I thank God I did learn. Yes, and, that's so And how many yeah. Christians go through through life even even wondering whether God's word is true or not because they're not getting the results that they should be getting and, and they don't realize God has overcome the world and he's transferred that authority to the church and the church has to then grow and develop. And that just like what you said there in the beginning, you know, people look at faith as is only exercised when uh, when they need it, and, and yeah. that's not the concept of faith. And then we put God on the back burner with our walk with Him exactly. the rest of the time. Yes, that's so. right. And, and you're going to have a hard time having your faith really work for you when it's so flaky. Yeah, because it's out of desperation Yeah, rather than out of authority and, mm. and strength and... and Confidence. Yeah, confidence. That's what the letter talks about a lot, is about confidence. And uh, I'm, I am I really like this letter. I think that it has uh, some really good points that really are something I can take away and use. Even though you, you know, you talk about like the Greek Septuagint and, you know, you reference multiple citations, which those of you that are used to the letter know that Pastor likes to make sure that he puts as much scripture in as possible as that's relevant and um so you have five points here yeah well the five points that i bring out is that uh this talks about adding to your faith mm. and that's not pulling it off the shelf when you need it but it's a deliberate action that you take to develop mm -hmm. your faith and that's why i bring out these five points mm. out of uh, second peter here one is uh, uh diligence that's being faithful, mm -hmm. faithfully committed to pursue something. That's part of your, your growing in faith. Another one's virtue, moral excellence, godly in action, superior in pleasing God, strength in character. A lot of people don't know that their, their, their character needs strengthening. When I came into the kingdom of God, I didn't know what integrity meant. I, my integrity was my concept of what I believed. You know, and mm -hmm. so God works on character change and all that. You know, so self-control, that literally means to say no to the things that want to take you out of discipline um, patterns, destroying God's ability to preserve you from wrong uh, desires, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. And so that's why I'm, I'm trying to get people to understand that faith grows in you you know just like the mustard seed you know you if you have a grain uh, faith is a grain of mustard seed you could say to that mountain be removed mm -hmm. and cast in and it should obey you well they don't realize that that verse mustard seed he wasn't talking about the little mustard seed moving the mountain he was referring to the quality of a mustard seed though it's the smallest seed that you can think of but once it's planted and it grows, mm -hmm. grows into a huge tree and can house all the birds and, and you know, has a, yeah. has a quality. That's what he was saying, what moves the mountain. Not the mustard seed, but yeah. the developed seed. Yeah. And, and you know, that's, it's kind of tough to hear, but I mean, I think there's a lot to say about being a disciple of Jesus and, you know, really if you break down what a disciple would be is 
a disciplined follower. And discipline, I've been really focused on for myself. Yeah. I realize that it's not about being disciplined and submitting to authority and that you do, you do as you're told. Obviously, that's kind of, you know, that's good. But discipline is where you can lead yourself. Yes. And Well, these five points here are very good for self-leading. Yeah. Yeah. But you're the one that has to do it. <laughs> yeah. You know. But isn't, it, isn't, it, isn't that God, grace and mercy? Even though we feel a conviction that we don't do this, God will still work with us in spite of what we don't, we're not yeah. doing. He'll work with us until we get there. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and how yeah. we get there might be different ways. Yeah. Like <laughs> me, I, how I got here was going through pulling that faith off a shelf yeah. trying to make it work and it didn't well you know, you nobody, to get... taught, nobody taught me hey wait a minute no faith has to develop it has to grow yeah. and you wanted to get to the bottom of that and that's what you're hoping to well you know show you kind of that. feel like well God gave us a promise you know if I promise you something that means I have something that you can have yeah right but if I don't have it, I can't give it to you. But if I have it and I promised it to you, mm -hmm. then I always felt, because I didn't understand this, I always felt, well, then then I must not be doing something right. Mm -hmm. God is God is not backing me. Yeah. You know, and that's not the case at all. <laughs> you know? Yeah. God is a, he's a wonderful Lord. I, but anyway, getting back to the newsletter, the reason I like it one page, it, it, it helps not only give you something to think about, but it, it gives you a simple structure of the most important things that you need to look at for the subject that's being addressed. Yeah. And that's living boldly by our faith. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Pastor. Okay. Hey, uh, so uh, go ahead and follow us on Facebook. Instagram, we're on YouTube, as well as Vimeo, and then also, if you guys haven't been to our new website, we have a newly updated website, byhisword.org, where you, it's uh, your one-stop shop for anything related to By His Word, and there is also a digital version of the newsletter, so if you prefer a paperless option for this, uh, you can subscribe to our email newsletter if you go to our website, byhisword.org newsletter. Have a great day, guys.